Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to factory reset a Mac. So the steps in this video will teach you how to factory reset it, which basically means everything will be absolutely erased and we'll go back to the original settings as if it was just brand new out of the box. And this is a good opportunity to follow these same steps if you're planning to sell your Mac. You don't wanna have anything interfere with the new purchaser. And I'll also cover one crucial step I notice a lot of online guides do not mention, and that is to disable File Vault encryption. Make sure your Mac is connected to the power source throughout this entire process. So the first thing you wanna do is actually figure out some information about your Mac before you go ahead and probably sell it. So if you hit the Apple icon at the top and hit about this Mac, you'll get all the information about your Mac. What year is it from, what version, uh, the model, uh, what is the resolution of your display, as well as the storage size of your system. So one piece of information a lot of people ask about when you're selling a Mac is the charge cycle of the battery, if it's a laptop version. So to find out the information, what you need to do is hold option on your keyboard, hit the Apple icon at the top, and this time now you have system information. You're gonna navigate down to power, and you're gonna look for information where it says cycle count. This basically tells you how many times your battery's been fully recharged. And if you Google search Apple charge cycle, there's a document from the Apple website that tells you how many charge cycles each type of model can handle. Now, before proceeding any further, what you wanna do is actually make sure you back up your data. Now, there are several ways to do this. The most basic method is to use time machine backup. So what you can actually do is connect an external drive or a large USB stick if it's like 120 gigs or more is what I recommend and then use Time Machine Backup to back up your data to that external drive. It might ask you to erase whatever's on your existing USB stick or hard drive. Be sure that you're okay to erase whatever content's there first before using it as a Time Machine Backup. The Time Machine Backup pretty much backs up everything identical to how it is on your Mac. So if you ever have to restore that data back, then you can do that easily. If your Mac doesn't automatically prompt to open up Time Machine, just open up Launchpad and then just start typing in Time Machine. The other method is to use iCloud, which is built into the Mac itself. It's Apple's cloud storage service. Or if you don't want to use that, and if you have a Google OneDrive account, Dropbox, or say even OneDrive from Microsoft, you can use one of those services to back up your data. Now, assuming you're selling your Mac or giving it away to someone you know, you want to sign out of all your Apple services where possible. So if you have iTunes installed, you want to sign out of there. If you have Messenger installed, you want to unsync it. So for example, if you go to Messenger, open it up, hit Messages at the top, switch over to iMessage and settings, you wanna sign out of your account. So the most important thing to do here if you're giving away your Mac to someone else is to open system preferences, then go to Apple ID, and you wanna go down to iCloud. And from here, you're gonna to wanna to deselect Find My Mac. Then go back to Overview, and then what we're gonna do is hit Sign Out. When you do that, you're gonna be moved over to the iCloud settings and you're gonna keep unchecking everything. You might get prompted to ask if you wanna delete all data off the computer, just go ahead and do that. After doing that, you might have to go back to overview one more time and then once again attempt to hit sign out. This is basically Apple's method to really ensure that you're not gonna delete anything that you really meant to keep instead. If you really wanna double check if your Apple ID was removed from the Mac, just go back to system preferences and you'll see that it'll prompt you to sign in with an Apple ID. Now, if you're passing on this Mac to someone else, there's one very important step a lot of people on the internet miss, and that's telling you to disable File Vault, which is the encryption of the internal memory. So to do that, open up System Preferences, then Security and Privacy, tap on the File Vault tab, but you might have to unlock it first in order to access these settings. Once that's done, you wanna click Turn Off File Vault. This will actually turn off encryption and allow the next person you might provide it to to actually start using it. If your settings show you never turned on File Vault, that's okay and move on to the next step. At this point, we're ready to factory reset the Mac, so what you wanna do is eject your external drive and disconnect the external drive because you don't wanna accidentally wipe that instead of the Mac. At this point, what you wanna do is shut down the Mac. After the screen is turned off, wait about 15 seconds. Then hold Command and R at the same time and press the power button. Then let go of the power button, but always continue to hold Command and R. And you might sit here holding both buttons for a good while. It could take two or three minutes depending on the speed of your Mac. And you'll just see the Apple logo flashing a few times, but that's completely normal. We wanna boot up into the recovery menu. Once that happens, let go of Command and R. From here, we're gonna actually wipe the internal memory. So we're gonna select Disk Utility and then Continue. 
On the top left, under internal images, this is where your internal storage is. Depending on how your hard drive was partitioned, you might have more than one. That's okay. So go ahead and start selecting a couple of them and hit erase. When selecting format, a lot of older Macs might not have the same options as me. If you see Mac Extended Journal, go ahead and select that one. If you see APFS, that's preferred. If you see Mac Extended Journal and APFS, then go ahead and select APFS anyway. I can see that this one is wiped, so I'm gonna go ahead and select the second one and then hit this erase as well. If for any reason you have multiple partitions like I do, just select one of the drives and then hit the minus button at the top left corner, it'll then combine the drives. You might have to erase it one more time after that. Once that's done, go ahead and X on that window. Back at this window, if you want to restore from your time machine backup that you created, you can do it here. But if you want to install a fresh copy of macOS, hit reinstall macOS and then hit continue. It's possible that this screen when you hit continue, it'll say you have no internet connection. From here, you just hit the Wi-Fi icon at the top right and connect to your Wi-Fi. Give it another try to install macOS and hit continue while connected to Wi-Fi and you should proceed to the next step. As you go through the process, go ahead and agree to all of Apple's terms. And then select the drive you want to install it to, which is your internal Mac HD. And then hit install and continue. After a very lengthy wait of reinstalling macOS, you'll be greeted back to the welcome screen and this is where you can hand it off to the next person if you sold it to them or whatever you want to do, you can set up the macOS yourself if you want to and that's pretty much it. And if you need to shut down the Mac at this point, hit command and Q at the same time on your keyboard and you'll get an option to shut it down. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Be sure to check out my social links in the description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.